welcome to FL Studio Mobile. Today I'll show you how to make your own instruments using the zip file method. We'll make a piano or keyboard type instrument and a step or drum pad type instrument. I'll put Edison on the master mixer track and press shift plus E to open Edison, ready to record. I'll change the recording to on input as I'll be recording live playing inside FL Studio. I'll make my piano instrument from an Ogan patch. And here we have the basic notes to use in our mobile instrument. I'll just slice this and name the slices so I can export using the export regions option that makes each slice into a separate sample. For FL Studio Mobile to map these samples to keys, we need to give them a root note or original pitch. And you can do that by adding the root note to the end of the sample name. So I'm using Bellish C2, Bellish C3, etc. Now this one was D sharp 5, so root notes can be anything between C1 and C8. Before saving, I'll change the bit depth to 16-bit. FL Studio Mobile needs 16-bit, 44.1 kHz mono or stereo wave samples. So file export regions creates our samples. Now all you need to do is put those in a zip file. The name of the zip file sets the name of the FL Mobile instrument, so I'll call it Bellish Piano. Zip is a common archive format. Google it if you need to learn more about zip files. Okay, so now I'll grab the samples for the step type instrument. So now I'll slice it and name the slices. In this case, don't put the root note after the names. This is how FL Mobile will tell it's a step instrument that's being imported. The names will be used on the pads. Export to regions and put those samples in a zip. Again, the name of the zip file determines the name of the FL mobile instrument. Okay, so the next step is to copy the zip files to your iDevice. I'll do that by syncing with iTunes. So I've selected my iPad, clicked on Apps, and on FL Studio Mobile to show the Documents area for the app. Now I can just drag and drop the zip files here. Now the last step is to import them from within FL Studio Mobile. So here we are on the Projects tab, and there's Bellish Piano and Drumkit Mind Zips. Remember it's the naming format of the WAV files in the zip that tells FL Mobile what type of instrument it will be. All we need to do now is double tap on the instruments to import them. Tap OK to both pop-ups, and on the Instruments tab, Instruments, My Instruments folder, here's our Bellish Piano. Perfect. And now let's import the drum kit. Double tap. OK. OK. And here's our drum kit, with the pads named after the samples. The step instruments appear on the Instruments tab, Drum Kits, My Kits folder, and there's Drum Kit Mine. Once you've imported your instruments, you can safely delete the zip files from your device. The data is in the My Instruments folder. In fact, you can now share these .instr files with friends simply by copying them into the My Instruments folder. Finally, to delete instruments, just remove them from the My Instrument folder. But before they'll disappear from your Instruments tab, you'll need to restart the app. and they're gone. Until next time, enjoy creating your own instruments.